Hi, how are you? So today I am making a tur barbecue turkey meatloaf and some veggie hash, which is potatoes, green pepper, and onion. And I will be making my barbecue meatloaf in the brown pan. And I'm going to use my stone bar pan for the veggies. So first thing I want to do is get some of these veggies ready. And my garlic. I'm going to do my garlic first here. So this guy here helps remove the peeling from your garlic. Really easy. Just place your bulb in here. Roll it. Put a little pressure on it. And look at that, nice, clean, pulls, helps pull it right off. So there's one, I got three bulbs here. Put a couple of them in here. Now I know this guy, they are getting ready to discontinue to buy by itself. You can only buy it as a set with the garlic slicer, which is also great, but I'm not using that today because I am going to mince the garlic. stuck to my hand. All right, so I'm going to mince my garlic using my chopper. I love this thing. I use it to chop garlic, um, ginger, walnuts, pecans, onions a lot of times. You can either put the items in there and chop it, or you can put it on your cutting board, which I have one of my Pampered Chef cutting boards sitting here. I'm going to put it in this because it's only going in my meatloaf. And this guy, the more you pump it, the blades turn and keep turning so that it makes it finer and finer than you do. see in there how nice and chopped up that is. Sometimes I do it a little longer and make it finer, but I think I'm going to leave this a little bit chunkier. I like the thicker garlic in there. All right, I'm going to set those over here. And get my veggies all chopped up here. And I'm going to introduce you to my new best friend. This little guy here will not be available until Monday. This is one of our brand new items. This is the Rapid Prep Medallion. You've got a tray here to put your food. And these here control the blades. And I'm gonna set this at the thickest setting. and I'm gonna set it on a french fry setting. And we're gonna try this out and see how well this works. I'm going to my blades here. And this guy, you just help kind of guide it in here. This thing is amazing. Um, my, even my seven year old uses it. We've been using it all week. You just set your food right in there. It's great for potatoes, carrots, peppers, any firm items. And you just set it in there and you use this to kind of guide it down. There's several different settings. You can do french fry settings. You can do like the french fry is what I'm going to do. And then you put it back through it and it'll chop it up into like little squares. Nice chopped up feeling there. I have not used this This is actually working perfect for the peppers. And it's nice 
because you don't get near the blade at all. And see for this pepper, the way that I have it going in there, it's making it nice and small, which is what I want. Play with this setting here. It's a little finer than what I wanted. Still learning the different settings and what works for what. That's, that gives it a visit. I think the wheel turned the wrong direction, but then I'm going to put these back through so that it'll chop them up a little bit more. But a lot of times you really don't even have to do that. This is the first time I've done peppers in here. All right. I like playing with the different settings while I'm doing it so I can learn what's what. It all comes out right around the top. All right, the peppers are done. Now the onion, I find it's easier to cut them. I've got my coated chef's knife here. It's easier to cut them sometimes depending on the size in half or in a quarter. I'm gonna cut these in the end of the quarters just to make sure it chops them nice and fine. But this thing has saved me so much time. I made fried potatoes last night. It took me like a minute to get my cut, to have it cut out and how I wanted them. And they were perfect. And if you have carpal tunnel, if you have arthritis in your wrist or tendonitis, like my right wrist, I got carpal tunnel and I also get tendonitis in my hand. This thing is a godsend. I love it. I think it's one of my new favorites on top of the brownie pan. All that chopping and no crying. All right, I'm going to take these, put them in a bowl here so I'm not ready to cook them yet. do my potatoes, which actually have a couple of them. I haven't done this size potato. Good look at this. This is on the fry setting. Isn't that perfect? And then you can throw them in your air fryer. And I was told when I watched the demonstration on these, you cut the potatoes into a fry, you throw them back in there, and then you can dice them. And then it comes out nice and perfect as a dice. So we are gonna see how that works. These are kind of little bitty potatoes, so they're cutting a little smaller than I thought to begin with. Yes, nice little diced potatoes. And I think I'm going to leave them in the fry setting for the rest of them because I'm going to be roasting them and I don't want them to cook too fast. They're so cute. Little bitty potatoes. I'll throw a couple of them in here since they're small. See how that works? Love this thing. Sometimes it catches on the spot, but it 
it's usually, it's pretty easy to fix the catch too. I think I go a little too fast for it sometimes. But this is the Rapid Prep Medallion and it will be available starting Monday. And this guy is my new best friend. I kid you not, I've used it a lot already. All right, I'm gonna put these to the side. And some water so they don't turn brown. And grab my turkey meat. Chilling in the fridge. Well, keeping it cold in the fridge, really, not really chilling. I got some ground turkey, which I've never done this ground turkey before, so this would be our first. All right, I'm gonna put my garlic in. What else? Put some onion salt, well, onion powder, not salt. I said to put in chopped onions, but my daughter sees chopped onion and she ain't gonna eat it. So, some hot sauce. And I'm gonna put a ton of the hot sauce in. All right, so let's see, panko seasoning. Let's grab my scissors. seasoning. Some of the barbecue seasoning goes into the sauce. So I only use half. And fry seasoning is for the veggies. That smells good. Some salt and pepper. Now unfortunately I do not have the mix and chop. Can you believe it? One of the most popular items and I still have yet to buy it. But I do have a cheapy version that we bought from Walmart. It is not near as good. It's only got four instead of, the, I, think, I think the mix and chop has six. I'd rather have that for doing this, but gotta work with what I got, right? And I'll mix up my meatloaf. And then I'm pretty much going to be done for the time being. So if you want to see the finished product of my cooking here, make sure you comment on this video saying, show me the food. Now I have a special going on with March. It's spring launch coming March 1st. Anybody who wants to get together and host a party, in March. I have a few dates available and those everybody that hosts for me in March are going to be put into a drawing for a free item from our spring line. I will have um, three choices for the winner to choose from and that help me get the word out of all of our fabulous new products that you will see on Monday. And I cannot wait to share them with you. But as far as my cooking demo for the time being, this is pretty much all I've got until I actually cook the food. And I'm not going to make you sit here and wait for me to cook all the food. So I will see you later. Bye.